Hello again. In this tutorial I'd like to show an interesting way to simulate water droplets. So I've got a picture here of the winery dog and I thought it would be nice to put him on the deck and put a few water droplets around him. So the first step in creating this effect is to uh, create a new blank layer. You can either go down and select this icon here or go to layer, new layer and create just the default blank new layer. Next step is to select default colors and make sure your foreground is white. Select a brush. I've got a nine pixel brush. And then go up to the window and bring up your brush palette here or hit F function F5. What I want to do is turn on shape dynamics and I want to turn on scattering. And if you click on the name Shape Dynamics, you can play with the size jitter here. And as you, as you can see here, as you move that up or down, it changes the way uh, the brush is going to act on the screen. And you can select a minimum diameter as well. You also want to set scattering, and I've got mine scattering quite a bit. When it's way down, it looks more like a line. When you bring it up, it scatters dots. And of course, I want to simulate rain. And when you're happy with that, then you can uh, move this out of the way and go back to your, your window. So painting in white on your new layer, you can paint like this. And as you can see, it paints white. Well, that doesn't look much like, like rain. But if you want to go now and go to layer, layer style, and select blending options. This is where the technique really makes a difference. This is a rather large window, but I'll leave it a little bit out of the way so you can see the picture behind. So what you want to select is you want to select drop shadow, inner shadow, and bevel and emboss. Now click on the word drop shadow, and you know as you do, you get a, a menu. Make sure that's set for multiply, and you can vary the opacity. I've got mine around 75%. Next, click on Inner Shadow. I've got mine set at Multiply, again at about 75%. And for Bevel Emboss, this is the one you want to probably change. Uh, highlight Mode is set to Screen. Shadow Mode I want to set to Overlay. So you can't see this, but it actually did change it to Overlay now. And when you're done with that, uh, you want to go up here to Blending Options Default and change that from Normal to Multiply. And when you do so, then you want to drop your opacity and watch your water droplets on the screen and change it to something that looks more like rain. And click OK. So now, as you paint, you can create water droplets on the deck. And if you paint a whole bunch, you get pools of water. And you can paint close to the dog. Uh, you probably don't want to paint on the dog. It wouldn't look very realistic. And if you get a few droplets on the dog, then you can use your eraser and just simply erase those off. But so I thought it's an interesting technique, and you might want to try it on one of your pictures. Thanks.